Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. We'll discuss now one question of networking capital calculation where annual costs are given. Let us go through the question. DK Limited provides you the following information. Projected annual material labor cost of company is 7,20,000 and 5,40,000 respectively. Cost of sales consists of materials, labor and overhead cost only. Production and sales takes place throughout the year. As per the credit policy of the company, debtors at selling price at 3 months credit will be rupees 4,50,000. However, for working capital statement, investment in debtors is to be considered at cost. Raw material are in stock on an average for 1 month. This is part of current asset. Finished goods are in stock on an average for half month current asset. Credit allowed by suppliers is two months current liability. Material remain in process valued out cost of material plus 50% of labor and overheads on an average for one month. This current asset information of work in progress. Company sells goods at 25% profit on cost. Time lag in payment of wages and overheads is one month. Cash balance is to be maintained at 1,10,000. Margin of safety 10%. You are required to prepare a statement showing the working capital requirement. They have given here Cost of sales consists of material, labor and overheads cost only. Whereas here in first line, they have given information of only material and labor. That means the amount of overheads is a missing information which we are required to calculate. In case of debtors, they say that debtors at sale price at 3 months credit will be 4,50,000. Debtors are calculated based on 3 months sales which comes to 4,50,000 given in the question. We need to find out annual sale so multiplied by 4. So we have annual sales 18 lakhs. Company sales goods at 25% profit on cost. With the help of this information, we can find out total annual cost. Annual cost is equal to annual sales minus profit. Annual sales we have 18 lakhs minus profit. Profit is 25% on sales. So profit is 4 lakh 50,000. 18 lakh minus 4 lakh 50,000. So annual total cost is 13,50,000. Cost of sales consists of material labor and overage. Material they have given here, annual material requirement is 7,20,000. 
annual labor cost 5 lakh 40 thousand company sells goods at 25 percent profit they have given here on cost we have calculated annual sales 18 lakhs annual cost we are required to calculate that is annual sales minus profit annual sales is 18 lakhs we are required to calculate profit profit they have given amount is 25 percent on cost 25 percent on cost that is one fourth on cost we can convert this as rate of profit on sales by adding one to denominator one fourth on cost that is one fifth on sales one fifth or it can be taken as 20 percent 25 percent on cost that is 20 percent on sales so 20 percent on sales that is 20 percent of 18 lakhs which comes to 3 lakh 60 thousand so annual cost is 14 lakh 40 thousand in question they have given information that annual material is 7 lakh 20 thousand and annual labor cost is 5 lakh 40 thousand annual raw material 7 lakh 20 thousand annual labor 5 lakh 40 thousand total cost of sales or total cost is 14 lakh 40 thousand so we can get over it as balancing figure so we got 1 lakh 80 thousand as a balancing figure that is of over it so in this question we are required to consider one important point that they have not given the amount of over it which we are required to calculate considering the sales that was also not clearly given it was they have given the amount of daters based on the daters figure we have calculated the total annual sales based on total annual sales we have considered the profit and from sales we have deducted the profit to arrive at total cost from total cost we have deducted raw materials and labor which was given thereby finally we arrived at the amount of overheads most of the information we have on monthly basis raw material for one month finished goods half month therefore we'll convert annual data into monthly data we got details on per annum basis we'll divide each figure by 12 so that we can get per month details raw material per annum 7 lakh 20 thousand divided by 12 so raw material per month 60 thousand labor 5 lakh 40 thousand divided by 12 it is 45,000 over its 180,000 divided by 12 it comes to 15,000 total cost 14 lakh 40 thousand divided by 12 per month it is 1 lakh 20 thousand
sales 18 lakhs divided by 12 per month 1 lakh 50,000 thereby profit we get balancing figure 30,000 per month profit 30,000 raw materials are in stock on an average for one month average stock of raw material one month raw material per month multiplied by period raw material per month we have 60,000 multiplied by period one month so it will be 60,000 this will be current asset materials remain in process valued at cost of raw material plus 50 percent of labor and overheads on an average for one month this is information of work in progress stock one month raw materials for one month labor one month overheads one month raw materials per month 60,000 60,000 multiplied by period one month it is 60,000 labor per month 45,000 45,000 multiplied by period one month multiplied by 50 percent so it is 22,500 over its 15,000 per month 15,000 multiplied by period one month multiplied by 50 percent so it will be 7,500 So stock of work in progress is 90,000. This is going to be current asset. Finished goods are in stock on an average for half month. Total cost per month 1,20,000. We are required to take half month. It is rupees 60,000 that will be part of current asset. As per credit policy of the company, debtors at selling price at 3 months credit will be 4,50,000. However, for working capital statement, investment in debtors is to be considered at cost. So, debtors 3 months credit. Calculation should be at cost price. Total cost per month multiplied by period. Total cost per month 1,20,000. Multiplied by period 3 months. So it is 3,60,000. Credit allowed by supplier is 2 months. Creditor for goods 2 months. Raw material per month multiplied by period. Raw material per month 60,000. Multiplied by period 2 months. 1,20,000. Current liability. Time lag in payment of wages and over its is one month. Labor per month forty five thousand. Wages per month forty five thousand. period of credit remaining outstanding one month multiplied by one 45,000 will be current liability over its per month 15,000 
outstanding period one month multiplied by one, fifteen thousand. Current liability. So we have calculated required current assets and current liabilities. Now we can prepare final solution that is statement of estimated working capital. statement of estimated working capital first we are required to list current assets in current asset first item is inventories stock of raw material we have already calculated average stock of raw material requirement 60000 stock of work in progress 90000 stock of finished goods 60000 Next, we have debtors at cost at three months, three lakh sixty thousand. Cash balance to be maintained, one lakh ten thousand. So, total current assets we get six lakh eighty thousand. Total current asset we got six lakh eighty thousand. That is gross working capital. From this we are required to deduct current liabilities. Creditors for goods at two months we have calculated one lakh twenty thousand. Creditors for expenses, wages, 45,000. Creditors for expenses, over its 15,000. So total current liabilities, we get 1,80,000. From total current assets six lakh eighty thousand, we'll deduct total current liabilities one lakh eighty thousand to arrive at working capital five lakh rupees. In question, they have said margin of safety to be taken ten percent. So to this value of net working capital five lakhs will be adding 10% margin of safety. Margin of safety 50,000, 5 lakh plus 50,000, 5 lakh 50,000 will be estimated net working capital to be arranged for. Friends, in this question, we have understood how to calculate missing information of over its that was the main point in this question and second they have given debtors at sale price but in actual calculation of working capital we were required to take debtors at cost price thanks for watching this video stay in tune with ikida and subscribe to our channel ikida thank you